Hello everybody and welcome to my newest playthrough. Well, I won't spoil it just yet until we actually see it. But if you want to spoil it, you know, it's just right above the video. You know, the wording. Hopefully you know how to read. Anyway, we're going through all this, like, stuff and... <gasps> graffiti is art, but graffiti is an act of vandalism and is a crime. <gasps> Gasp! I didn't know that. But what is this newest playthrough? That's right, Jet Set Radio Future. Oh yeah! Welcome to part one of Jet Set Radio Future. And uh, yep, yeah. <laughs> nope, not the pizza guy, corn. Yeah, corn gum. Okay. So, corn and gum, two possible pizza toppings. Let's thank God it's not. Want pizza. And, uh, oh, so we're a cat. Okay, that's awesome. So, yeah, we want to join, jo ugh, join the GGs. And now we're going through a little initiation, I guess. Jump once. And jump uh, three times. Oh, okay, I won't get cocky. Don't worry. Hmm. A grind on rails and fences. You'll slide automatically. Okay, well let's see if we can do it. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, we gotta do it again. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh oh, what now? Oh 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 oh. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, weirdness aside and trying to act cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, but this is just that radio feature playthrough. Uh, you know my account, 0beat36. Uh, this is the game that started it all. Well, the game that what I chose the name. Because 0beat is a character you'll meet later on. I mean it, later on. <laughs> Much later on. Okay, so now they're talking about graffiti and paint cans. Uh oh, we missed one. Okay, well, we got that one. Well, let's go back and get that one we missed. Because you're going to need to uh, learn to do that in case we ever miss any. And now a boost dash. Oh, flying. And there was like flames on the back. Not too shabby. Yeah, <clears throat> I know. Oh, Robbie, okay. Oh, he's a pain. Oh, a pain all the time, okay. Well, who's Robbie? Good thing he's not another chewy substance. Oh, a uh, dancing robot. Okay, and uh, backwards gangster hat. Nice one, Robbie. Okay, so he's talking about training and stuff like that. If you ever need training, just set radio. Yeah. We're listening to it, aren't we? No, that's a boombox. Anyway, he said, he started talking about training. Yeah, we're not going to go through any training. Tune in to just set radio to survive. Oh! All right, radio broadcast is about to begin. Yeah, this is DJ Professor K, baby, the master of mayhem, you know what I'm saying? Bring you another Tokyo Underground Pirate Radio broadcast from Just Set Radio. I'm going to bust into your head through your cute little ears and blow your mind with my sexy voice and out of sight sounds. Those of you calling the nose, please, should keep those tissues handy, suckers. Tokyo is being oppressed by the Rokaku Group, a mega enterprise headed by Rokaku Goji. Rokaku is using his money and influence to mess with everything, industry, society, and even our culture. And he's even got his eyes set on City Hall. Lately, Rokaku's been shaking down the government, passing that Rokaku law crap, even buying off the police department. This law ain't nothing but garbage. It's just some selfish little punk's way of trying to show he's a big man. Rokaku and his gang are trying to stomp out our culture left and right. They don't give a rip about our rights. All they care about is profit. 
And some spineless fools have already become flunkies in that diabolical scheme. You better believe they're listening on this broadcast. But even in all this heat, there's a group of young kids who tear up the streets. I'm talking about the Rudy. These kids have set out to bury Tokyo and graffiti. And now they're all wrapped up in their own little territorial tug of war. The hottest team at the moment is the GGs. There's Yo-Yo, a guy who blow your mind with silver yeah. tongue. And Gum, a real cool lady who leaves a trail of broken hearts wherever she goes. And let's not Yo. forget their leader, a self-styled genius that goes by the name of Korma. These three ain't your garden variety street punk. Know what I'm saying? Lately, Tokyo's been on one bad trip. The attack on the record store in Shuo Street, Prowlers in Dogenzaka Hill, low life spreading vicious rumors. The mysterious blackout on 99th Street. And who should be following them around but the Rokaku group squash dog? The Rokaku police! With the Rokaku Expo just around the corner, the crackdowns are only getting tighter. My heart ain't pounded like this since, since my first date. I was so nervous, know what I'm saying? I forgot to wear my underwear, baby. This ain't the time to be sitting around sipping afternoon tea. Game's gonna start soon, and y'all gonna be the one making the play. <laughs> and you thought Anthony's voice was smooth. But yeah, don't sit around sipping afternoon tea. Right, Deck, Corey? I mean, no. Deck, Brad, and Sam. No tea, okay? Corey's not a Brit, so yeah, I can't make fun of him. Nope. Alright, and we'll put on my favorite music, Count Luchacha, I think it's called. And has a great beat and let's go see some custom graffiti this is the ones that the game gives you right off but you can also create your own which I did way before ZB36 and I had a little mess up I didn't press ok so check them all out they're all different you'll be seeing them a lot I tried my best to customize them like flashy and whatnot And check that out. Alright, and so that's all the graffiti for now. Now let's continue with our mission. Oh, Rose Guild. I would give anybody a hundred bucks if they could actually do that in real life. And if you actually can, kudos to you, and you're not getting money. Yo, 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 all right. Let's get this party started. Razor Roof. I'll be your audience, so let's see what you got. Mm -hmm. Someone done stole the goddess in the streets. The statue of Dogen Zaka Hill. I bet the punks who did this are the same ones who are spreading all them nasty rumors. Cover Dogen Zaka Hill in graffiti and brush out those rumors spreading scumbags. Someone stole the statue. That is so uncalled for. Oh, and this is a little, uh, save pad. Uh, usually on the ground, there's, like, three of them. You spray them, it makes a, like, graffiti start pad to where you can save, change your character, and, well, that's pretty much all it really comes in handy for. And I'm going this way, because, uh, well, there's a reason, you'll see it. But, um, enough wasting time about this. Uh, there's actually something I do want to get out. Uh, this playthrough might take a little bit, and, uh, if you are really interested in this, uh, game, go check out Exclamation. Uh, Sarah, she's a really good playthrough person. Uh, she just recently got done doing Pokemon Snap, and she's done this game, and that tape, uh, gives you a list of challenges so you can get graffiti souls, as you'll see later on what they look like. But yeah, check out Exclamation, she's a really good gamer, and uh, yeah, it was uh, really fun, she actually got me back into this whole entire Just That Radio Future thing. So yeah. <sighs> well, that's about it. But as you see, there was something floating in the air, it looked like a white ghost head. And uh, that was a graffiti soul. And uh, I forgot to do something, so you'll see me backtrack for a second. I was about to grind that rail, but uh, I need to uh, go unlock the save pad and everything. 
But anyway, that's the end of this video. Please stay tuned for part two. I'll see you later.